Okay, enter the query for YouTube video search. So I want to go Billie Eilish the office. Okay, so enter what you want the clip to be about. I know there's something about a quiz in that clip. So I want to ask search for quiz. How long do you want the clip to be in seconds? So I want 60 seconds. Choose your video format, original or 916 cropped. So I think I want original. Do you want subtitles? Yes. Okay, that's done. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have the clip. You can see it is exactly 60 seconds long, right? So let's take a quick look here. Bitch, I'm strong. Okay. Go. Fuck. Why did I... F okay, I'm nervous. What does Michael order while out with the insurance selling mafia man? Oh. Yeah, that's good, right? Perfect. Now let me show you how you can do this too. Here we have a quite simplified flow chart of how this script works. So you can see in the top left corner, we start with entering a YouTube search query. And this query will be passed on to the YouTube API that will actually return a URL that we then can use PyTube to download that video into our folder. And from there, we can use the OpenAI Whisper to get the timestamps and the caption from that video. Uh, I got a smart trick for that. I'm going to show you. And... From that SRT file, we can actually turn that into text and feed it into GPT-4 in like a prompt schema I'm going to show you. And from there, we can kind of use the timestamps and the user's preferred clip size to create the video clip from the long form clip, right? We can actually say like 30 seconds and we will get a 30 second clip uh, based on some kind of user input from the topic it wants from that video. I'm going to show you more on that later, but... After that, we can kind of pick our video format. As you saw in the intro, we picked like original, but you also have like 916 short form format. And you can choose if you want subtitles or not. And from there, everything will be merged together using MoviePy. So that is a simple overview of how this works. Uh, we're going to dive a bit more into the Python code now and do some examples and see what kind of videos we can create with this. As always, uh, when I work on the code, I usually just work in Visual Studio Code, but of course, uh, it looks much better if we take a look at the Python code here or on Notepad++ with my default team. Uh, this code got a bit long, so it ended up being 375 lines. Uh, of course, we don't have time to go through the full code here. Uh, but I think I'm just going to cover like, the most important functions we created for this. And just talk a bit about that. So, kind of the main parts of the script is, of course, to search YouTube for videos. Here we use kind of the Google API that you can find on Google Cloud. Uh, if you want to know more about how you can set up, uh, this up, just let me know in the comments and I might do a video on it. Here we use PyTube to actually download the videos with the URLs we get from the, from the API, right? Another big part of this script is actually use OpenAI's Whisper to uh, take the videos and turn them into like an MP3 file that we can convert them into this response format here. That is actually SRT. Uh, this will give us, the, give us the timestamps we need for this, right? So that is kind of an important part too. And in this example, we just use our ChatGPT function where we have the GPT-4-1106 uh, preview model. We have a user query as an input and we also have a system input here. Uh, I just put the system message to just something very simple here. So you are an, the Office series expert. <laughs> uh, your task is to pick out the most interesting and important part of a video just from looking at transcription with timestamps. That is basically the whole system prompt for this. I also want to show you kind of the prompt we use to get the timestamps in the correct format. So here I kind of made a few shot prompt. So you can see uh, from the transcription and time frames above, find the most interesting and impactful 30 seconds. Uh, important, return only timestamps for this. And here you can kind of see I have the answer. So this is 30 seconds, right? And here we have kind of 60 seconds. And then we feed in our SRT file here and we run the prompt again and you can see we have some other replacements here. So we kind of want to replace time with how long the, the user wants the clip to be and we want to replace this placeholder with uh, what the topic is going to be uh, for the video. So these are kind of user inputs we replace and this is kind of what we get back from the whisper part, right? The SRT here. And here is kind of a mess I made. So you can see I tried to do some logic here. So we have a if, else if, else if, and else statement here. And <laughs> look how bad this is. I don't know why I did it like this, but uh, it looks horrible, but it works. <laughs> so 
this could be much more improved and optimized, I think. But yeah, just for this experiment, I just did it the most simple way as possible. And you can see we use like an FFmpeg command here. And we just swap out this filter here for all our statements, right? So this is if the user input is 2 and the subtitle is yes, we're going to run this. And if the user input is 2 and no, we will run this. Uh, so it's a whole mess, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But uh, it should be a pretty easy to fix this up and get it more structured if you wanted to do that. Uh, but I think that's it for the code. Uh, like I said, if you want to support me and become a member, I will upload this code to the GitHub repository we have for the community. And I got some other news coming up uh, in 2024. I'm going to focus a bit more on the members section where we'll be doing cool stuff. And I will be sharing yeah, some pretty cool stuff, I think. Uh, but now let's just move on and try to see what kind of types of videos we can get with this uh, Python script. Okay, so before we run this, I want to change this to a Python code expert. And let's go to Visual Studio Code. Let's run this. So what I wanted to search for now is Mistral AI API. Because I think if I search on that, I could get one of my own videos, right? Uh, so you can kind of see here, it's downloading the video to our folder and it's done. The next part now is going to be to take that video, turn it into an mp3 and then convert it into SRT with using Whisper. And then we can start to feed that into GPT-4 and start to work with the content, right? Okay, so you can see we have the video here. So this is my video, right? That I download, I created. So this is the video we downloaded. So now uh, it asks what the clip should be about. I think I talk about a shirt problem shirt problem in that clip so let me just enter that and uh, we can do 60 seconds so here you can kind of see our prompt now so so you can see from the transcription and time frames above find the most interesting 60 seconds and shirt about a clip about the shirt problem right and choose the video format i think we're just gonna go original now and we want subtitles right okay so now it's creating the subtitles okay and then it's done so we can click down here, final clip 2, and yeah, let's have a listen. Uh, it should be pretty quick, yeah. Uh, if the condition for drying such as mud sunlight is the same, it should. Uh, we can assume it will take 10 hours for 10 shirts to dry. Yeah, so that was the shirt problem I talked about in this video. So we kind of pick out the perfect uh, clip from that. I think it was like a 12, 14, 13 minute video. So yeah, works pretty good. Okay, so now let's try to create like a vertical format, maybe for like a Instagram Reels or TikToks or anything like that. So I went back to the system prompt and changed it back to an Office Series Expert just for fun. Okay, so let's run this. So I want to search for... I haven't searched for this before. So let's try the Office Season 5 bloopers. Let's just try that. Okay, so you can see, fail to download the first URL because it's age-restricted. Then it's going to move on to the next one until we have five tries. Uh, you can see it found one now that it could actually download. So I didn't mention that, but we can give it five tries before we found a video we can download. Okay, so this is the video that was downloaded. Let's take a look here. Yeah, this is some office stuff. It looks like the bloopers. Perfect. So you can see it's 14 minutes long. Let's try to make a one minute uh, TikTok of this. Okay, so what do you want the clip to be about? I think I'm just going to go Michael. That's Michael Scott, right? Uh, yeah, I want around 60 seconds. That's probably too long, but just to do that. Okay, so the video format this time is going to be 916. So that's like TikToks. Uh, yes, I want subtitles. And that is done. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, good. So now you can clearly see that this is in like a vertical format for TikTok, Instagram Reels. We have the subtitles in the middle of the screen here. Uh, did we hit on the topic? Mm, doesn't look like it, but let's have a listen anyway. It should be pretty funny, right? <laughs> so Jan, you went to a sperm bank? Yes, I did. I donated sperm. <laughs> oh. Maybe I'm the father. Well, this is a, a highly exclusive establishment. Next to the IHOP? <laughs> you can just let me know personally if you'd like her to have a brother or sister. <laughs> okay, there's Michael Scott. <laughs> okay, so cool, this is working pro perfect. 
Um, I want to show you one more example uh, of something I did with this. So this was a vertical version of the first clip I did. So let's have a quick listen to that too. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Bitch, I'm strong. Okay. Go. Fuck. Why did I? F okay, I'm nervous. What does Michael order while out with the insurance selling mafia man? Oh. An Italian dish. Yes. Gabagool. Yes, very good. <laughs> what is the name of... Alright, so yeah, I think this is perfect. This is a super way, super easy way and quick way to make like both uh, vertical content and both like uh, normal 69 content. So yeah, I'm very happy how this turned out. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, I think this works uh, as intended. Very happy how I created this, how easy it turned out, just exactly as I wanted to. Uh, I also created a bit of a different version of this that kind of uses GPT-4 Vision to kind of comment on what is happening in the video. Uh, but that's gonna be probably the sum of the few next videos coming up. Uh, but other than that, like I said earlier, if you want access to the script, you can support me by becoming a member to the channel. Just follow the link in the description below. And if you do that, send me an email and I will invite you to the GitHub where you can download or just push pull the script into your uh, computer and just play around with it yourself. Uh, other than that, thank you for tuning in. Uh, enjoy the rest of the holidays and I'll see you again probably on, yeah, it's probably going to be in a few days. So yeah, bye bye.